Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. So, Delta Force Hawk Ops PC Alpha Test has finally arrived. And I managed to get my hands on it. I played for like four, four and a half hours straight to kind of get the first impression that I want from this game. And the, from the moment that I knew that a game like Delta Force actually exists, it was really being compared to Battlefield. And it was said to be a true Battlefield competitor after many years of having no real competitor in the shooting market. For the alpha, it is a closed alpha, meaning you should request access and they send you the access link. To be honest, for a closed alpha for a game that's already being developed, this alpha was literally a solid game. It was in pretty good shape uh, in terms of gameplay and in terms of, let's say, optimization. And that's really a good sign for a game that is still in development. That assures us that the final version is going to be even better. But the real question is, can this be compared to Battlefield and could it really become the Battlefield competitor? As some people want to refer to this game. So that is the top questions that we are going to answer in today's video. But before that, I'll give you my first impression. And then, based on my own experience with the game, I answer the big questions here. And I'll be making a weapon comparison between Delta Force and Battlefield 2042 because there are so many weapons in common. That's going to be a huge video coming your way in the future days. So do make sure to stay tuned to the channel. If you are a Battlefield fan or you want the news around Delta Force, do make sure to subscribe to the channel as well because we are going to cover those news in this channel. So with all that said, let's get started. I know this video is probably going to be a long one because I just want this video to be the ultimate first impression on Delta Force Hawk Ops. So when you jump in first, Battlefield experience kicks in. It really appears like a Battlefield game when you first jump into the game. So many features are in common in Battlefield, especially Battlefield 2042. For example, we have specialists. They're called operators in Delta Force. We have special traits and gadgets for every operator, like the healing pistol for Falk. There is an actual operator here with the exact pistol. We have a game mode that uh, is called Havoc Warfare, which is literally just breakthrough. It is just exactly breakthrough. Like the rules are exactly the same. And I can just keep on going, telling you what's common between Battlefield and Delta Force. On the other hand, there are things that are completely different between the games. For example, we have different weapon classes for different operators. There are certain operators that can't use certain weapon categories and their choices are limited. Looking at Battlefield 2042, we don't have such a thing. You can play with whatever specialist you want with whatever weapon you want. So uh, that's basically one of the things. There's also the weapon progression, leveling up your weapons. It's completely like mm, what I remember from back in the days in Warzone. Like it doesn't really look anything like a Battlefield game. And vehicles are not as dominant as they are in a Battlefield game. That's something that really hits you in the face when you start playing this game. It's more like an infantry game where vehicles have less impact on the results of the battle. It's not like Battlefield where vehicles are really turning into tides of war for each team. So that's not really the case in Delta Force. And for closed alpha, there was just a lot going on in this game. There are challenges, fully built progression system for weapons, an in-game shop to buy some in-game stuff, and a whole lot of weapons, guys. There are just a lot of weapons. Battlefield 2042 had less weapons on launch, comparing it to the closed alpha of Delta Force. And that really has something to say. Weapon diversity is something that DICE needs to take care of for the next Battlefield game. That's something that really, really a must for a Battlefield game. When your competitor has like 43, 42 weapons on the closed alpha, that is going to really make things complicated for DICE. So as I said, I've never seen any alpha being so complete and so solid. This is literally just inspiring. For a lot of AAA developers, there's there's really a lot to learn. About the gameplay pace, when you first jump into the game, it's not really like a Battlefield game. You feel like the game is slow and sluggish, but the more you play, the more you realize that, hey, this game isn't as slow as I thought it should be. Like, it really isn't. Sniping, for example, in this game is just way harder than it is in Battlefield, in any Battlefield game that I've ever played. It's just hard because you can't really find anyone who's standing still. So as you start to play a bit more, you feel like the gameplay pace actually is not as slow as you think. 
And if I want to compare it to like top shooters in the market, it's really a mixture of Battlefield and COD at the same time. You can't really compare the gameplay pace only to Call of Duty or only to Battlefield because the game is not really identical to any of them. It's a mixture of both. So I wouldn't get your hopes high on finding yourself in like familiar fields. I was really a bit late to the party. Uh, I had some issues with setting up the game, but I've seen some people, some of the creators, some of the Battlefield creators actually having their first impressions and they were like i didn't have to do any adjustments it was like it was like a battlefield it was so uh like common for me it was common sense playing this game and that's really not the case guys this game as you can see probably in the videos has a leaning mechanism the last time i used a leaning mechanism in a shooting game was me playing rainbow 60 and that's like three years ago so having a leaning mechanism in a game like battlefield that's just crazy like this is exactly like how rainbow 60 just leaning works so that's not true really Really, the gameplay pace isn't really uh, like identical and a true copy of Battlefield. It is a unique gameplay pace that you really need to get used to. You can't just jump in there and feel like, hey, well, it's Battlefield 4, you know, let's play. It's not. That's really not the case, guys. So be ready because if you want to play, you have some getting used to. And weapons, in my opinion, are where this game shines. Like the reload animations are great. The recoil feels really intense and it feels really like a real weapon. Like looking at the weapon sounds and looking at the recoil, it really reminds me of old Battlefield games, like Battlefield 3. It had a pretty much solid kick to the weapons where you could really feel that weapon uh, kicking you. That's the same thing for Delta Force as well. And the customization, guys, it's just beyond any Battlefield game. Like, I've never seen any Battlefield game giving you so much options for customizing a weapon. There's just a lot. And some people might even find it, uh, like, unnecessary, but it is what it is. It's having more customization will never hurt. And as I said, the weapon diversity for a closed alpha is, is just beyond your mind as a Battlefield player. It's just great. And also, when we speak about alpha, and betas you know the the issue with most of those uh, versions of a game is that they're really unoptimized like people with mediocre pcs can't really get a solid performance out of them however on delta force hawk ops closed alpha this game is literally the peak of optimization for any alpha game it's just great the fps is stable you don't really see a lot of cpu utilization like we have in battlefield uh, like your cpu isn't really being harassed by the game it is there and doing its job but not to the to the point where Battlefield gets your CPU too. That's not something that happens with Delta Force. And because of that, the frame rates are uh, really stable. And that's something to really get your hopes high for. Because if the alpha is like this, the beta is going to be even better. And the final version of the game, when this game actually releases, it, it, it should be even better. So as a free-to-play game, this is going to be very good news for you guys. But one thing about Delta Force is that we do again have specialists and we really don't like having them in games like Battlefield or even Delta Force. However, there's a big difference here between Delta Force and Battlefield. I believe Battlefield 2042 has never been so specialist biased as Delta Force is operator biased. Delta Force's operators really do uh, compel you to play in a, a certain way. You just can't like go around it. If there is an operator and it's for like heavy duty, it's made for having LMGs and it's uh, slow and sluggish, you can't really do anything with it being fast. That's just not something that works for that operator. And if there's an operator that is supposed to rush into the enemy territory and get some kills, you can't really just stay in one place and try to camp it out and be uh, like a bit chill and play it cool. You really can't do that. Battlefield 2042 has never been that way. You can pick whatever specialist you want. You can pick whatever gun you want. That's not really the case in Delta Force. And I don't think that's something positive about Delta Force because having specialists or let's say operators in and out itself isn't something good. Let alone you making the game so biased towards those operators. I don't think a game should be like this. I don't think the final version of Delta Force should be like that. Uh, I believe there are so many gadgets, so many traits for every single operator that it really takes time to learn to play properly with them. That's really not the case for Battlefield 2042. You can just jump in, pick up operator. Uh, what's it going to do? Like you deploy a sentry gun that works for itself and you just don't do anything else. Like that's that's what Boris is, right? And operators are only a small part of what I really don't like about Delta Force Hawk Ops. I probably make a video telling you all the things I really don't like about this alpha. And that is going to be something for uh, the developers to reflect on because that those videos are the videos that developers really like to see what their game needs to 
to change. That's something that I am willing to give the Delta Force developers if they're willing to listen to some smaller channels. So if I want to sum it up for the first impression, weapons are great in this game. We have a lot of diversity, the recoil, the sound effects, everything is on another level. Weapon customization is phenomenal. It is great to have all those options in like 42 weapons in an alpha. Weapon customization is just phenomenal. It's really amazing having all those options to use in the alpha version. It's really inspiring. The game looks great. The multiplayer part has been built by Unreal Engine 4. I really don't care about looks in a multiplayer game that much, but nevertheless, it looks great. And as I said, performance wise, the game is just perfect. You don't really need to worry about the optimization issues that other alphas and betas have because this game is not really in their league. This game is just better and the thing is optimized. You can hold me to that. The game is optimized. But the map design, especially the Ascension map, which is one of the two maps that you have in Havoc Warfare, uh, is not even close to the map design for Battlefield games. Like we as Battlefield players are just judging Discarded, for example, for having a lot of open terrain with no cover. That's exactly the case with Ascension map exactly the same it's even worse than discarded in my opinion especially in those early objectives this is just terrible you just run around being shot by people from 100 yards away without having anywhere to go literally so that's something that developers need to take care of when they are releasing the game with more maps the game as i said is operator biased that's not something that we really need to see in a game like this i'm not saying that they should remove operators because it's too late for that but they can actually make them impact the game less with the traits and gadgets. Gameplay wise, the gameplay seems slow, but it really isn't. Sniping in this game is really hard in my opinion, because there are a lot of people just moving around and you don't really come across a player standing still for you to do anything with. Even in a fast paced gameplay, um, like Battlefield 2042, which a lot of people believe that is the fastest pace that a Battlefield gameplay has ever seen, you can still find people sniping. You can still find people that are stationary and you can't actually snipe. At least that's something that you can't do in Battlefield 2042. It's really hard in Delta Force. So yeah, it's so much faster than you think. But going back to our ultimate question, is Delta Force actually comparable to Bath? Well, the answer to that is both yes and no. In the big picture, when you just look at the gameplays and look at how things are in these games, like they have a common mode. Uh, one of them is called Havoc Warfare. In Battlefield, it's called Breakthrough. Yes, in the big picture, you really can't compare these games. But when you look at the details without 2042's corruption in your mind not really these games are really not comparable delta force is a unique game i gotta tell you this it's not like cod it's not like battlefield exactly it's a mixture so it doesn't really look like any fps in the market right now and if you guys jump in and play it you'll finally get to know that this game is just unique you can't really compare it to any fps in the market right now and knowing the fact that this game is going to be a free to play i do know for a fact that it is going to have a lot of players you can't really deny that but i don't think the game is on a level that actually steals the the battlefield fans or like let's say the call of duty fans in my opinion the free to play shooting games should really worry about delta force because it is a worthy opponent for any shooting game however again I don't think it really can replace a Battlefield game because of the things that I've really mentioned throughout the video. The game looks solid and it's going to progress from now on until the release date. But even in the re release date, I don't think it's really that mature to be able to replace a Battlefield game. And because it really can't steal the Battlefield fans, I don't think it's ever going to be a competitor, a true competitor for Battlefield games. I don't think so. And to be honest, the real reason why Delta Force is now having so much hype around it and it's because becoming a icon for Battlefield players is because 2042 has really set the bar so low that Battlefield players uh, are just praising everything they see that has a small Battlefield essence in it. Delta Force, in my opinion, will just probably end up like X Defiant. Like X Defiant was the COD killer. It had a lot of hype around it because, well, COD is a, in general, a bigger IP than Battlefield and it has a very bigger player base compared to Battlefield. But X Defiant had a lot of like hype around it. It was called the Call of Duty killer and just a few months later after the release things are just radio silent now we don't really hear anything about it if the next battlefield game is going to be a true battlefield game in my opinion delta force is going to end up like x defy so all i can hope for is that people developing delta force keep on their good job because there's a lot of like positive aspects about this alpha people that were waiting for this game are now in my opinion pretty hyped up and they're they really need to be helpful 
for the future of this IP because it really is promising. And on the other hand, people in EA and DICE really need to wake up. If a game like Delta Force, which has a lot of things in common with Battlefield and a lot of things not in common, can actually intimidate Battlefield players like this, DICE really needs to assume this as a wake-up call and is a warning because as i've said before so many times battlefield 2025 is going to be the last stand for battlefield if dice can't really pull it off battlefield is going to get hit so bad that it's really going to be hard for them to get back on their feet again it's really going to be hard so you guys go down in the comment section let me know what you think about the video let me know what you think about the closed alpha on delta force if you guys have played it, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you think it's going to be a worthy opponent for Battlefield. And if you think it is actually capable of stealing Battlefield fans and all those kind of stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed and hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. And until next time, stay cool.